George Rathman, the founder of Amgen, says, you must to become a true biotech company, you must have walked through the valley of death, meaning near bankruptcy several times. And by the way, when that happens, it really builds character. Every once in a while, I come across a story in drug development that isn't just about science, but about human resilience, about what it takes to spend decades pursuing a single idea when the world isn't always sure you're right, about conviction. The real vision here is that in the future, I won't say all, but the majority of cancers Instead of three treatment modalities in cancer, you will have four. Cancer, as we all know, remains one of the most complex and devastating challenges in medicine. And while immunotherapy has revolutionized treatment for many patients, head and neck cancer, with its delicate balance between survival, organ preservation, and quality of life, still presents a unique and pressing unmet need. TNF-alpha is one of the components in Multicon. Mm -hmm. TNF-alpha kills the cancer cells, and the antigen specific to the tumor that you have or that I have is released. The immune response now becomes specific to your antigen and on my body to my antigen. And it's a bold idea. Instead of waiting until after the tumor is removed, prime the immune system to fight back right at the very beginning. Today, the first treatments are surgery, radiation, chemo. They should be our drug first, and then surgery, radiation, and chemo. If you use our drug, you can eliminate the chemo. My guest today has been at the center of one of the longest and most ambitious immunotherapy trials in history. For more than 25 years, Gerd Kirsten has led CellSci, a company developing Multikind, a first-of-its-kind immunotherapy designed to be given before surgery. Today's episode is about one of those stories. In this conversation, I want to understand science, yes, but also the psychology. What keeps a leader committed to a vision for decades? How do you carry the weight of setbacks, the doubts of others, and still keep going? And what would it mean for patients and for the field if this approach finally finds its place in cancer care. So whether you are a scientist, a clinician, an investor, or simply someone fascinated by the human stories behind science, this episode is for you. Gerd, welcome to Drug Diaries.